Jamie Ives from Green River Ordinance, and uh, for all the guitar geeks out there, I wanted to show you my uh, 2009 Fall Touring Rig. Uh, first off, the guitar I'm playing right now is uh, this is my Bell Custom Guitar Jazz Blaster. It has a Malfitano PAFs for the humbuckers, and I'm running into an orange cabinet. It's got Celestian 30s in it, and then this is a Rain Head. It's a small, small boutique out of Dallas. REIGN is the company. It's got EL84s and 12AX7s, like a like a box in the in the power section and a Marshall in the preamp. It has power scaling, so you can literally change the watch. So it's like a hand-built, matchless kind of sound. Um, this is the clean signal. Um, that's it, just going through the amp. So come down here and check out the board. I've changed a few things since the last time uh, I showed you this stuff. What's new is I added uh, a few pedals from a company called JHS Pedals that actually let me help design and customize the pedals I wanted. First off, this is a buffer. It's called the Mr. Magic Buffer. Um, basically what it does is just boost your signal because I'm running so many pedals. So here it is without it. tighter, a little bit punchier, and kind of just sweetens the whole thing up. So I kind of let have it running through that the entire time. Next up, this is a brand new pedal I just got. Um, I designed it with JHS pedals. I call it the Ice, because my last name's Ice. Um, and then I also have the Fire pedal right here. Uh, the Ice is basically a copy of a Klon. I'm sure you've heard of the Klon. It's like an $800 pedal. This is basically the Klon, but it looks way cooler and it says Ice. Uh, JHS pedals made, made this for me. And then this fire one right here is basically a clone of an exotic BB preamp. Uh, and they both those pedals work really well together. I have the Klon. Um, I use it basically as a clean boost to have the gain really, really low, just so it adds a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of meat. So check it out. Here's uh, the sound without it. <laughs> controller slash true bypass strip and the way it works is all the pedals go into it and it's a MIDI controller and so it has 25 banks and as you can see here I have my songs right here so the first bank is, is bank one which is our song getting older so I have my solo bass. then I have the verse sound which is kind of like this organ thing using the eventide harmonizer and then the chorus sound And uh, what's cool is the MIDI controller sends a signal to the eventide pedals, check this out, telling it what tempo to go to, see how it changes it. And so you're, it, you're also able to dial several pedals in at once. So right here, this is my chorus setting where I use the ice pedal and I use a delay. And so that turns both those pedals on and off with the push of a button. Also, I have another true bypass strip where I have the memory man running into it, 
uh, my tuner, I have the Wawa pedal, because I'm able to control those a little bit more instead of having to program those into the actual MIDI controller. Uh, the Memory Man is a real cool pedal if you haven't ever heard one of those, it's real lush. <laughs> This is a good rich volume pedal. I used to have a Hilton, um, but we did a show with the Counting Crows and their guitar tech recommended the good rich pedals. It's, it's really, really transparent, really clean, uh, doesn't color your tone at all, um, and I've been really, really happy with it. So yeah, hope the guitar geeks out there enjoy this. This is kind of what I'm using. Uh, this is the TC Electronic uh, Nova Modulator. Let's see. I use it kind of for weird trims and stuff. Let's see. Here's an Here's an example of it. Uh. It also has a tap tempo, so you can like change the tempo really fast. It's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that's it. Hope to see you out on the road. That's what I'm playing. <laughs>